Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, please leave your opinions in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. LG Funds Controversy Ogun Council Chairman Port Street Beg Governor Abiodun All the 20 local government chairmen in Ogun State on Tuesday night besieged the office of the state governor, Dakwa Abiodun, to ask for his forgiveness on behalf of one of them, Chairman Ijebu is local government, Wale Adedayo, who accused the governor of withholding local government allocations. In a dramatic turn of events, the council prostrated and begged the governor for forgiveness. The chairman, led by the ALGON chairman, Babatunde Emilola Gazelle stormed the governor's office in Abelkuta and begged for forgiveness. A short clip of a meeting which has gone viral showed the ALGON begging for forgiveness on behalf of his colleagues, including Wali Ade Dayo, who wrote the petition. Gazelle said, and I quote, Your Excellency, we have come here to beg you, as a father that you are, as a father of all in the state, we want you to forgive us. Your Excellency, if you don't forgive us, who do we run to? So on behalf of all of us, I am tending this apology, and in particular, on behalf of Wale Adedayo, Emilola Gizet said, and subsequently prostrated alongside others before the governor. Responding, Governor Abiodo in his remarks declared that he had always carried out his responsibilities as the governor with every sincerity of purpose. Recall that Ade Dayo had accused the governor of withholding the local government allocations. Ade Dayo lamented that local government chairman have been unable to execute projects in the last two years and asked former Governor Olusha Gunwosofa to urgently wait in and convince Abiodun to allow the statutory federal allocation to local governments in Ogun State to reach each of them as envisaged by the 1999 Constitution. The council boss also petitioned the Economic Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, and the Independent Corrupt Practices Commission, ICPC, calling for the investigation of a governor over alleged diversion of local government funds. According to him, Abiodun has not paid a dime to local government accounts as federal allocation in the last two years. Ade Dayo, in the petition, dated 28 August 2023, also accused the governor of denying the local government chairman of the Ecological Fund and other entitlements due to them. Part of the petition reads, and I quote, Revenue sources, which the local government should benefit from, have mostly been taken over by the state government. Motor parks and attendant dues, 
which should go to each local government are being centrally managed by the state government. Primary school administration and control have been taken over too. There are many others, but what I crave is for you to assist in helping our people. Why have they taken our revenue sources? Why have they taken over revenue sources of the local government? How do they want the grassroots to breast? In Ijebu, its local government area, we are a complete rural section. Our people need roads, especially in the interior. They need water. The health centers are nothing to write home about. The primary schools are something else. It is a crying shame that, in 2023, some of our people still depend on water from the stream to drink. Be assured that I am readily available to answer any question about what I have written here, he said. But the governor, in, in a statement by his chief press secretary, Lee Adeniro on Tuesday, said he had never tampered with local government funds. He wondered how adding to the funds allocated to the local council to enable them to meet their obligations amounted to hijacking their funds. Abiodun says that funds meant for local governments and the state are being handled by the constitutionally recognized Joint Account and Allocation Committee. The governor says that JAAC members ensure that the third tier of government gets the required allocation for optimal, for optimal performance. You all, hmm, it's so sad that, you know, this is the current situation that we find ourselves in Nigeria. It's just so sad because according to normally, if it were to be in a country that is sane, like in a country that, is, that have sense, this man actu has actually done what is right, like the man who wrote the petition, I mean. He has done what is right. He has reported his principle because his principle is not doing what is right. And this is what is attainable in almost every state in, in Nigeria right now. Most of the governors do not allocate government funds to the local government chairman. They just do whatever they want. They divert uh, local government funds to whatever a thing that they want to use the money for they just do whatever they want with the money and you know people have been fighting for local government autonomy for years now and it doesn't seem like that is happening because nobody is calling them out on it that one's separate this man did you know the right thing he reported his principle and you know <laughs> probably he could no longer bear the eat now he's begging this chairman are now prostrating on top of their rights, yo. <laughs> on top of their own rights. They are now prostrating, you know, begging the governor to forgive them and all of that. Oh my gosh. This country, may God help us. Just because, you know, these, these men at the end of the day, they know that they need to put food on the table for their families. They know that they actually need this position they are, they are in. They know that they need the little money coming in for them. So now they are begging and, you know, the criminal is now looking like, is looking as if he's, he's the God and is the good person, whereas he's the one that has done them wrong, is the one that have done what is wrong and is the one that needs to be pleading and begging, prostrating. But <laughs> what do I know? You will leave your opinions in the comment section. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Let's continue this discussion in the comment section, my people. Share this video with your friends and family. Thank you very much for listening. I will see you all in my next video. Bye for now.